Hi families, welcome to our website, Culver's Classroom. This is meant to be your organizational hub for um, your child's instruction. Um, and I'd like to present you with some recommendations for how you and your child may organize your learning week. Of course, the individual days and times can be determined by you and your own availability. But here are some suggestions. I'm gonna do a little bit of screen sharing so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So each morning, of course, you know about your Google Classroom because that's how you arrived here. Um, but each morning from your Google Classroom, your child um, can scroll past the day's invite um, to their Zoom lesson. And right there, the second um, announcement will have the web address for um, our website, which you used hopefully to arrive here. Um, so each morning, your child can start with their morning meeting. So they would click on that arrow and they would find the morning meeting with that um, particular date. Usually there's a read aloud that I'm sharing on a particular theme. And um, almost always there would be a journal prompt as well. So your child can use that spiral notebook that was given to journal each day about the topic that was discussed in the morning meeting. And that just helps us keep a sense of community together as we're thinking about and sharing about the same ideas throughout the week. Um, from there, it's time to start thinking about language arts. Before or after the live lesson at 9 a.m., your child may go um, to Clever and they get to Clever by going first to the district website um, and the district website they go to teaching materials and from there they go to the Clever login. Um, once they're in Clever the they can access the materials for their language arts by clicking on Connect Ed. Um, they will get to a screen that looks like this each week they can click on their to do button and that has some games and interactive activities that will help them um, increase their understanding of that week's learning targets. Then they also have all the stories available that week um, um, available uh, as audio playback so they can actually listen to those stories um, and prepare for the lesson. Um, so from there then they would return um, or they would come to the live lesson at nine and our goal in the live lesson is to do maybe a page from the packet, um, offer some support for that, but also to spend a good amount of time in our reading for that week, discussing it um, together and um, looking at those key themes. Um, next, very importantly, they want to go back into Clever after the lesson um, and they want to do either Reading Plus or Alexia. Reading Plus or Alexia, depending on which program they are in and all the students know which one they are supposed to do, they should do that for 20 or 30 minutes a day. Um, these programs are very important um, to further their reading instruction at an individualized level. Um, they also need to read their AR books. Now, since they are um, at home, a really good resource for getting books um, is Myon. So if they click on the Myon app, this is, um, this is about what they will see. They will see um, libraries of books, thousands of books organized into different genres, um, and they can choose the um, genre and topic that they are interested in. There's fiction and nonfiction here. There are chapter books here. Um, there's everything that they need in order to continue with their reading. And most of these books are linked to AR quizzes. So they can take the AR quizzes directly after finishing one of these books. And, and the goal would be one to two books per day. Um, from there, they're starting to think about math. The math live lesson is at 1030. Um, currently, we're working through chapter 13. After spring break, we'll be turning to chapter 14 um, in, the, in the math book. Um, the live lesson will go over that particular lesson that is assigned for that day. They will be able to get most of their questions answered. Um, after class, they can certainly um, request additional time with me 
um, for a small group Zoom session if they need more time on that particular um, lesson. Uh, other things they can do, they have the yellow review book. They can do extra practice in Moby Max and Freckle to continue their math work. Um, then they also have writing to keep in mind every day, one to two pages in the cursive book, and also working on a narrative story about a Shumash character. Um, so we're, we'll get down to their writing, um, but as we get down there, um, check out these language arts and math session, or sections. Um, these have the recorded Zoom lessons, so if they miss a lesson, they can come back here to the website, they can watch the recorded version. Let's say they came to the lesson, but they didn't get to see the worksheet long enough. They can still come back here to the recording, recorded sessions, pause in the particular place where they need to see that worksheet and um, get the answers that they need. All of these lessons will be um, archived here at the website for you, so you can go back um, if you missed something from a previous week. Same for the math lessons, they are all here. Um, and I recommend using them to um, check on work. Here is the writing section, and we'll be adding to that. Um, we're looking to probably target writing on Fridays during our language arts time, but we will see. Um, as your child is working on their Shumash story, please have them begin a Google Doc and share it with me. Here are some tips if you're unsure about how to use Google Docs, but the um, students are very um, competent in using them, so they should be able to do that. Some extra resources here, as well as our science tab where we will house all of our science lessons. Um, and then there's a PE tab. Please let me know if these links do not work and I can update that for you. So that's just an overview of how you can do your day. Um, we also have family conference Zooms being scheduled. Um, so those will occur once a week and your child can reach out to me between uh, 9.30 and 10.30 each day. And after um, our math lesson um, from 11.30, uh, from 11 o'clock on. All right, um, enjoy and please dojo me with any questions. Talk to you soon, bye.